Halo. Wah, Justin, uh, kamu bikin air purifier sendiri? Iya, yeah, benar. Wah, kok bisa? I was able to uh, do the electronics inside using a ESP32 or Arduino microchip. Okay. I program it, uh, connect it with all the different sensors to detect values like PM2.5, PM10, um, temperature and humidity in order to detect the the air quality around us. And then after that, uh, my team was able to, using a 3D design software, which is called Fusion 360, we were then able to design it on our computers and then 3D print the casing. So this is our sensor. Oh, jadi ini tuh untuk mengecek uh, kualitas udara ya? Iya. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Tapi kenapa Justin kok bisa bikin alat ini tuh awal mulanya kenapa? So, uh, kind of because we live in Jakarta, I'm sure we are all aware of the issue that air pollution has, um, especially in the recent weeks, where if you check on your phone, where you check on your sensor, the data, um, it's almost always red. It's almost, it, the air pollution is very terrible. And so, realizing this, um, uh, me and my schoolmates, we wanted to try make a difference in our school and then hopefully also expand to the city. And because most of us were interested in engineering and electronics, we decided to use our own skills to make these products, which are lower cost, they are cheaper, uh, which we hope to not only donate and uh, be of useful, be of use, but to also bring awareness and attention to this issue. Oh, that's really cool! Sebuah inovasi yang keren ya. What a cool innovation! Uh, tapi aku dengar dari tadi Kak Ida bilang katanya Justin juga bikin air purifier. Iya. Yeah, oh, itu boleh ditunjukin nggak air purifiernya seperti apa sih? We were also able to create our own type of air purifier. Oh, ini air purifiernya. Iya, yeah, benar. Oh, how it works? So the way it works is there's two different layers which the air purifier is able to use. Uh, the one over here is a specialized pre-filter which is meant to uh, protect against uh, larger particles which uh, can be harmful that also contribute to air pollution. And then this is the first layer and the second layer over here is called the HEPA filter which uh, you can buy anywhere or also online in stores which acts as the main filter in being able to remove the smaller particles. And now, how does the air purifier work? Uh, the air purifier works by having these top fans over here, which I was able to buy off of a, a PC store. Um, they suck in the air from outside that they go through the, the filters, which is the general principle for how an air purifier works. And we were able to design this using, again, like the 3D design software called Fusion 360 and we were also able to 3D print these components. Um, these parts over here are made of foam core, and all in all, this makes it a very low-cost solution uh, using materials that anyone can, uh, that, uh, is, that is available widely here in Indonesia. Wow, what a brilliant idea. All right, Justin, is it for indoor or outdoors? Uh, this filter is mostly specialized for indoors. Oh, untuk jangkauannya berarti seluas apa ruangannya? Uh, we estimate about for a 60 to 70 square meter room size, um, we estimate you need to use about uh, two of these filters to cover fully the whole room. Apa sih dampaknya yang udah pernah dirasakan nih ketika alat ini ditaruh di sebuah ruangan? The, for the room itself, it's able to cycle in, it's able to pull in uh, all, the, all of the unpurified air through the filters and blow it out through the fans. And as a result, it's able to turn all the closed space, in the, the air in the closed space, uh, and turn it into more purified, more clean air. Ah, oh, okay. Is there any uh, turn on or off button? Yes, it's it's very easy to use. Um, for now, you can just uh, plug it into a socket, and it'll immediately turn on. Uh, we try to make it as easy to use as possible, so that anyone can use it. Um, and. In addition to that, we're also working on our second design, which will also include um, added functionality and connection to our sensors too, so that uh, it's able to uh, detect air quality at, and at the same time uh, uh, purify the air surrounding air. For now, our design uh, considers them separate, 
But in the future, uh, with our continued prototypes and continued design process, uh, we hope to be able to connect them such that um, added basically Internet of Things or IoT functionality, such that um, if it's able to detect uh, surrounding air quality is not, uh, is not uh, healthy or reaches a certain point, the, the purifier is able to turn on also. Oh, okay. Tapi Justin, uh, for now, is it for the distribution or, or for your own self? So, uh, actually we've been able to also turn this into a community service initiative. Recently, I was able to lead a team of uh, 10 as part of a school initiative uh, back in April, where we were able to try raise awareness on this issue while also donating our filters to several schools and orphanages and communities. For example, Ronald McDonald Charity House and SLB Laka Pancha. And we were able to raise awareness and provide not only educational materials, but also these filters and sensors themselves in order to... Um, and I'd also like to note that in these areas in South Jakarta, which is very near traffic congested roads, so there's a lot of pollution in that area, we were able to sort of help try to alleviate these issues in homes and classrooms. Oh, that's very really great. Jadi ini untuk donasi, sahabat Da'ai. Jadi saat ini tuh dipakai untuk donasi-donasi dulu ya, Justin, ya? Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Okay, so what's your daily life to help artists and environment to make a better air? I would do to try to help minimize my own impact on air pollution would be to try go green when it comes to transportation to minimize the use of your own uh, private transport but also uh, use other public transport using carpooling for example can also is, works great um, in addition to that um, as I mentioned before with uh, Ka India uh, what I've also been able to do is also try help raise awareness and work together with uh, an advocacy group like Bicara Udara, um, where we try to help uh, uh, support through projects and try to push for uh, better policies and advocate more on this issue. Jadi untuk menjaga polusi udara tuh ternyata tuh bisa dimulai dari siapa aja ya, termasuk yeah. dari Justin nih yang masih SMA loh, keren sekali bahkan juga menciptakan inovasi seperti ini.